anything hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm kettle is um you guys might know those that have that's um regular viewers and those that's new i'm kettle and welcome to my channel and please don't get to hit the subscribe button the notification button and the like button um today's video as you guys can see in the description or in the title it's about postpartum care and six weeks update yes for both me and baby so let me just get to my notes so i can so i can make sure that i don't forget anything right first is postpartum care so for me um i have been it's six weeks like i um explained to you guys and it i just went yesterday me and baby cairo we went to um for our six weeks update and appointment yesterday or checkup not update six week checkup yesterday and it all went well for me everything went well like the only thing they checked for me is um, my uh, stitches if everything is fine everything um, healed and yes everything did heal and I'm a four away I'm ready to go yes ready to go meaning I'm ready to start exercising because I didn't want to start exercising if I'm not yet um, healed uh, so I was actually waiting for um, my six weeks a checkup in order for them to tell me that um, to give me a go ahead to exercise and you know just go on as normal and yes guys for the postpartum um, I actually uh, like I showed you guys in the video uh, where I showed you guys what's in my hospital bag everything that I showed you guys that's in the hospital bag I've used like the maternity pads like the breast pads like the what is this okay the hospital those uh those disposable panties I did not use those ones um it turned out that it was too small and because of the, the the pads that i had because i was wearing two pads um so those uh disposable was too small for the time that i was in the hospital but the hospital gave me um those disposable panties so those are the only things that i actually did not use um for my uh postpartum care and then yes with regards to um pets i the pets that i showed you guys is from carrywell the carrywell pets that i used they are perfect and also softy the softy pets that i got in this game they are basically the same as the carrywell it's just that they are blue in color and the carrywell is pink the pets i, I used it's from pigeon um the what is that thing called uh, yeah but you'll see I just forgot the name now there's another name that they mentioned honeycomb honeycomb yes the honeycomb um, pet from um, pigeon not breast pets yes and I'm still using breast pets at this moment um, I actually don't know when you actually have to stop stop wearing them maybe when your milk it's not like the let down you don't have any let down i don't know when will they be but yeah then's when you have to stop buying or stop using um i think breast pads and as for me for the after birth i stopped bleeding about three weeks after i gave birth yes oh um i forgot to tell you guys that i had a normal birth um natural birth so for my bleeding stopped about three weeks after giving birth and i was so happy for that and my 
okay it's not for me to say but i i feel like my um, stitches healed like almost around the same time like three four weeks after um giving birth but you know you have to go to check up so the doctors can tell you yes it has healed so yes and then the yes the that's basically it about me the postpartum care um i'm going to okay what i've used as you guys know in the hospital you like they bath you and stuff but i used um that you have to take a soul bath being after giving a natural birth you take a soul bath up until actually now up until the six weeks where they can tell you yes you are healed and you don't have to take the soul bath anymore so i've been taking the soul, soul bath up until now and i'm actually still taking it um until i think my soul i ran out of salt so oh i ran out of salt sorry english yeah and yes that's basically it guys and um for the for my postpartum care and then when it okay but i'll yes so let me just check the next topic so that i can i, I don't want to forget guys yes okay i already covered the six weeks update for me everything is fine everything is well um i can go ahead with exercises and anything else that um that i was waiting not to do because of my 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 stitches and then on baby guys yes baby is developing developing pretty well he is he is on par with all his milestones if i can say so um and he is he is growing which i'm happy he gained weight he grew um he is about 56 centimeters now and his weight his birth weight was 3. Um, 3.48 and now his weight is 4.95 so yes we are growing we are growing i'm very happy i'm very satisfied it means that my baby is getting enough food from me um i mean food from me yeah i give him food so food from me yes and then breastfeeding which is the next point um i am enjoying it i am having a bliss with breastfeeding i literally get so excited when he wakes up and it's time for him to feed i just i get so excited and if you guys hear noise my sister is busy cooking and she is really just in her own world here yeah, in the kitchen and so yeah the breastfeeding it's like everything for me i literally gets very excited when he wakes up and it's time for him to feed i actually wanted him to be here when i do this update with you guys but he decided that no not my thing i i rather take a nap so yes he is napping now hopefully i hope by the end of the video if not if he wakes up i will i will just show him to you guys but he yes he is big he growing very well and everything is on par and i'm so happy breastfeeding like i was saying it's a bliss for me and like just that excitement when i that excitement when i'm about to breastfeed him that feeling of you know satisfaction when he 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 breastfed and he burped and everything like that's just that feeling is it for me it's the feeling for me let me say and sleeping guys like okay i i think sleeping goes hand in hand with routine and schedule and stuff but the sleeping for me during the day he doesn't basically like have a time there's days when he sleeps very well during the day and there's days when he just doesn't you put him down he will just take naps for 30 minutes an hour 
or he would just want to nip on your arm the moment you put him down he's awake there's there's very few of those days but, they, but there's a lot of the days where he, he sleeps very well like i would say in the morning when we wake up he would normally wake up about about five six is the time that he wake up five six seven yeah depending on what time he went back to sleep maybe um during the the last time during the night um then he will sleep again he will if he wakes up at six um i will breastfeed him and maybe by seven yes he will fall back to sleep and wake up nine ten that's how it is and then sometimes doesn't even go back to sleep again until four o'clock but sometimes he will sleep again at one so that is his sleeping routine and then um in the beginning i bathed him at 12 o'clock that was the time that i bathed him and then i decided to like bath him a little later because it's hot also i decided to bath him a little later close to the to his bedtime because uh he like it's hot and he sweats you know how kids are when they are sweaty and hot and stuff like that they are very cranky so i decided to bath him around four now four or five that time so that it's closer to his bedtime which normally after um bathing him he would go back to sleep immediately or he will take about an hour an hour and a half to go back to sleep again so that's his routine basically we don't have a you know steady steady routine and i don't want also to to do that to him i know some people say you must put, give him a routine or give him a routine he's still growing and the older he gets then it's, it's going to be more easier to put him in a routine i think right now he's still such a baby you know and if he f if he doesn't feel like falling asleep he doesn't feel like falling asleep there's nothing i can do so and also he he's still gonna go to crash because i'm 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 going to have to go back to work so then his routine is going to change again so i don't want i want him to actually guide me and tell me like this is the time for me now okay i'm tired now i want to sleep now okay i don't feel like sleeping so i want him to to tell me also with breastfeeding what i can tell you guys he is very on time with breastfeeding when he sleeps he sleeps like two to three hours and then he wakes up he eats like if he sleeps for four hours i leave him four five hours i leave him because i know when he wakes up he's going to want to eat so i i don't actually want to wake i don't want to wake him up especially for feeding like i feel like he's just gonna be still tired and to wake him up just for feeding like i feel like he's going to wake up if he wants to eat or if he's hungry so that's what i also do so yes i don't have a schedule i don't have a routine an actual actual when that i stick to and say okay one o'clock i do this and and i keep to that or i say um okay it's one o'clock now i must wake him up he must eat and then i must breastfeed him for two hours or an hour and then i must play with him and then i must put him back to bed or no i don't do that but i the bathing is it's where i like keep on time to around four or five o'clock um bathing him but the rest no he he will guide me he will tell me like not tell me but he will give me the signs to say that okay i'm now tired i'm now hungry i want to sleep now or i'm up now so yes that is basically what um that's how he guides me to tell me that this is what he wants and yes guys just this five six weeks yes you know you get tired during the night you feel tired you feel like sleeping and you fall asleep while breastfeeding him and it is it happened but then you know it's it's just it's part of what it is having a newborn and i'm i'm I can really not complain like it's just 
part of the package like we know everyone knows that you you have to um let's get the layers showing me thumbs up so that's part of you knowing that this is what you have to do when you decide to have a child so you should have prepared yourself mentally for these things so yes i am i am super fine with everything right now i don't have postpartum depression or anything like that i know sometimes you just feel like you are not in the mood today and but that's that's not a big deal for me like it's it's i feel like it's it just comes with a package and it's if you have help it's it's the best like when i have my sister i have little katalea uh, my husband also so like guys my husband is just he's the best waking up during the night is not a one a one person thing it's a it's teamwork i'm telling you he would he would maybe wake up i would feed he i would feed the baby and then sometimes the baby like doesn't fall asleep immediately after um or breastfeeding while breastfeeding he doesn't fall asleep so i would burp him and my husband will take him and make him fall asleep and then i will just get back to sleep and sometimes um he i i wouldn't even know sometimes ne? and he he just he would tell me i think it happened once or twice where i he woke up but because i couldn't hear the child it's because he does not cry like murder when he wakes up he just like is he just whines yes he's just whining when he wakes up so that's sometimes um why i don't hear him but my husband will hear him and sometimes i just feel like my husband pretends not to hear but that's okay and then we yes he would wake up he would just take him make him back to sleep especially when it's no when it's not yet like an hour or two hours or three hours then he would just take him and rock um him back to sleep so yes he's a very good help especially during the night during the day he's at work so i'll be here by myself which is not a problem and i still get to do some things when he's sleeping and when he's not sleeping it's okay if i don't get the things done i'm i'm okay with it so yes guys and don't be too hard on yourselves like when you are in the process especially when you're alone at home don't be too hard on yourself if you don't feel like bathing while you are alone with a child don't bath if you don't feel like washing the dishes washing the floors don't do it i mean you are tired you've been up during the night and during the day and things like that it's okay it's okay to take a break some days and no one is going to judge you they better not they better not judge you but yes guys um that's it for me for our update for me and baby kyle and he is just um he is just a bliss guys he's such a cutie he you know he's already moving his head like such a grown child i don't know only at six weeks he, he will be looking around he will be lifting up his head it's so high hmm yo Yo. So I am very happy with his growth, his development and yes guys, so please stay tuned with us. I will still keep you guys up updating for more of um Cairo baby Cairo's uh um milestones and stuff 
and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that notification button so that every time I upload a new video you get that notification and please share and watch all my videos up until the end I really am trying to keep the videos short so thank you guys so much for the support and watching the channel and you know liking subscribing and welcome to all the new subscribers welcome welcome and i hope you enjoy this channel thank you